be. And today, we get situated properly. Today, um, I'm at one of my favorite places in the world, which is the uh, New York Public Library, the one on 41st and 5th Avenue. Anyway, today I wanted to share something with you that was absolutely amazing. The distinction, or I guess the insight that I wanted to share with you was we get caught up a lot of times with this is green tea ice green tea iced tea, by the way, from Panera Bread. But we get caught up with um, doing a whole lot of action, right? And you know, if it when it comes to fitness, it's trying a whole bunch of different things and um, you know when it comes to doing a lot of things in life there's a lot of people taking action you know every day day in day out we call it the grind we call it the hustle we call it a lot of different things but if you're constantly taking action repetitively and not getting any results then it's time to stop taking action there's actually two other things that are missing from the equation if you're taking a whole lot of action at any given time and not getting the results that you want to see. And the first thing that is missing is checking in to see who it is that you're being, right? So let's say your goal is to get, to become a wealthy person. So to amass a lot of wealth, you'd have to first be a person who's wealthy. And when I say be it, I mean feel it in your bones. Like, have, start to have thoughts of wealth and of abundance and of, you know, feel the feelings that you're gonna feel when you have it there. Because actually that's what's setting the vibration of your body to attract it. That reality to you. And it's the same exact thing when it comes to fitness. So you have to be fit before you actually see the changes in the scale. I think about everything that um, you know that I've ever accomplished in life. So I'm I'm gonna go back to one of the things that I really had to sort of be there before I got there. And one of those things was a car. I really wanted a car back when I was, I think it was 23. I was tired of driving old cars and I wanted a brand new car, right? I remember it was a, a Nissan Maxima. This is back in like 2004. So it was like nine years ago now. But anyway, I wanted that car. And first, the first thing I did was I sat down and I imagined myself having that car, driving that car. I went to go test drive and I got the book from the auto show. I got the book from the the actual um, dealer and I test drove so I had a feel for it. So basically the car was mine in my head. And my credit at the time was really a mess. So I had to fix the credit but I knew that the car was mine. And I was actually, that car was mine in my head, it was in my soul, it was in everything, it was already mine, and it was just semantics, whether or not I got the car, so, lo and behold, I got the car, it took 90, maybe 90 days for me to, you know, get from imagining the car, having it as my screensaver on my phone, test driving it, doing all that stuff, to actually having a car, and then I drove it, you know, and I paid it off, and I enjoyed it, so that's just one example of many things, but every single thing that we create as human beings is done that same exact way, so if you leave the being part out of it, like the actual ownership of the thing that you want, and becoming it, becoming a person who has it, then you'll never get it. You'll take all the action in the world and it will never pan out to be what you want it to be. And I see people do that in fitness all the time, right? So they never are fit. They never in their head are fit. They aren't becoming fit. They only see the things that point to them not being fit. And 
and then they wonder why they work out so much and don't get the results they want. Or why they break their back cooking foods and eating everything and don't get the results they want. It's because they haven't been that. They haven't been fit. And you have to be fit before you actually see the results in the mirror. And you have to be certain that it's going to come to pass no matter what. So, it's not a matter of willpower. It's a matter of just deciding and cutting out all other options to get it to be that way. So, that's the first step, which is the being of the thing that you desire. The second is the thoughts. Because once you're being the, uh, the outcome, then you're inspired. You get thoughts that become inspired by you being this new entity, this new fit person. So then you start thinking like a fit person thinks, right? You start looking for hotels when you go away that have gyms in them. Uh, you start looking for ways to do different exercises when you don't have equipment. So the being gives you the thinking. And then the thinking gives you an inspired action or a bunch of inspired actions that you should take. And basically, a cool way to look at action taking is not like I'm going to do this to make this happen. Look at it as I'm going to take this action in order to receive the exact match to who I've been for this long time with no results. So you're taking the action of exercising and working out because you're going to receive being fit, which you've already been fit before the mirror told you that you were fit. Um, it's kind of weird and it's kind of backwards from everything that we're taught, but guess what? Every single thing that you've done and accomplished in your life, you've done that way. You became it first. So you became a homeowner before you bought the home, then you got to started to get ideas and started to think like a person who's gonna own a home and then you figured out what you had to do to get it and then you took action and you got it that's how it happens with everyone who's own, who owns a home um, the same exact thing is with um, you know with any sort of winning or any sort of success that we experience in life you have to be at first then think thoughts and then you'll be inspired and then take inspired action. So that's it. Hope that helps. Hope, hope maybe when you try it, you can get some great ideas. Write in the comments anything that you've ever done in that order. Like be it first, then think it, then take the inspired action. Um, and subscribe to the channel, Better Body Expert TV. This is Andre Farnell. And as always, you're greater than your circumstances. You're greater than any past conditioning. And ultimately, you are responsible for sharing your greatness with the world. Peace. I'm at the Brooklyn Public Library.